But we, um, in terms of the history of it, we hit Gordon Brown's tax loophole, which came in in about 2007. I remember going out one evening with someone who worked for him, and she said, I've got some bad news for you. Um, all of the money we've put together is just gone. And there was a, so all of the work we'd done going to Columbia and New York to try and cast all the American to drag them down there and risk their lives in Colombia at the time. We've gone. So you, you do need to roll your sleeves up and you are in for the long haul if you make the point. So at that point we came out of Colombia and came out the, the producer kind of just lost the plot having spent a good deal of money setting up the initial recce's out firstly to Cuba, then to Colombia, then for me to go to New York, then for all of his money to disappear. The writer fell out with him, we took the film on and we went back to Cuba and we got another producer involved who read the script, he was working for a finance company and he, he said let's try again, let's go back to Cuba. As I said, Cuba in 2008 was suddenly a different place. There was just a different feel about it. President Obama was in the White House, and the place was starting to open up, and people's whole kind of demeanor was slightly more relaxed and more open. We took a casting agent out there. And we, we were struggling, really. I mean, one of the big problems, as I mentioned, is he didn't... The producer was worried that we'd never get the film back, or that we'd had half a film that we'd shot in Cuba, and unable to complete it. So what we did is we, we, um, we decided to cast all the main act, actors out of the UK, as far as we could. So that in, a, in a complete meltdown, we could come back and maybe do it here. So um, Ernesto, the Cuban pimp guy, is actually from Ireland. Um, Chris Simpson is name. And that was a conscious effort of ours. The, the one piece that we didn't have was anything authentically Cuban. And on that visit back in about 2008-9, <coughs> we were introduced to someone who said, uh, Carlos Acosta, would like to meet him back in London. I don't know if anyone knows Carlos Acosta or knew him. Has anyone known him before? Okay, so he's just a couple of people. I mean, he, he was the biggest ballet dancer in the world. He was the principal dancer at the Royal Ballet. Um, the biggest kind of international star has come out of Cuba, along with maybe the guys that, uh, what's it called? Buena Vista? And once we had, once we'd met Carlos and we met him in London, and he he was looking for a film project, we were kind of, all, we were kind of going. Cuba just said, "Yep, come on, you've got Carlos Acosta's going to be in it. This is going to work for us." Suddenly everything turned around. But I mean, seeing your blank faces here, it makes absolutely no difference. 